lot of backtracking in Darm Tower. It's just how it goes. Uh, I've played all of Moving Forward from 6. Nice. 6 was a great, great version. All right. So, okay. Here's this trap. Okay. So let's go back this way. We'll go up the other way and see if there's anything we missed over there. Uh, Wanderers was the only one I ever played. Gotcha. Well, we're, we're going to... You're in, a, you're in for a treat, I think, because we're going to play some really, really, really good games. Um, so I finally got Memories of Silsetta for the PS4. And I remember... Wait. Am I, am I going crazy here? I just went up... Yeah, okay. Yeah, we went up this way. Some of it's a little repetitive. Okay, this time I want to go the other way. Gotcha. I thought I was losing my mind. But no, that's, that's normal. <laughs> it's not normal that Seraph is losing his mind. I mean... <laughs> Darm Tower is a, is a dungeon that fucks with you. Because uh, a lot of it will look very similar. Did, like, next to no damage to this guy. You. Okay, that's just a dead end. Um, but I haven't beaten Memories of Silsetta yet. One of these days, I gotta actually go through and properly beat that game. Um, but Memories of Silsetta is, is East 5. Or is, um, I'm sorry, that's East 4. Um, keep mistaking it for East 5, but it's, but it's not. East 5, we've never actually had a release. Okay, there's nothing in that. That. We're good here. Let's get the hell out of here. You know, one of these days, maybe we'll get a release of East 5, but, um... I mean, if, if Falcom hasn't done it by now, we're probably not getting an East 5. But uh, anyway, so anyway, sorry. East 4 is Memories of Celsetta. That's the most canon version. So you get East 3, Wanderers from East, that came out for the Turbo Graphics and the Super Nintendo. Then, after East 6, with the same engine, Falcom remade East 3, and they just called it Oath of Fulgana, but it's East 3. And Oath of Fulgana is considered the more canon version. They play very, very similarly. But, and I've, I've almost, I've gotten to the end of Oath of Fulgana, but I never beat Demanicus. But now I've got a controller, so I, I think I could pull it off now. All right, so now we don't have to worry about this trap anymore. Let's see, do I need that equipped? I guess it really doesn't matter. Eagle Idol. Oh, I, okay. Replace the Eagle Idol with the blue necklace. I guess we'll just keep the heal potion active in case I need to use it. So now we could keep going up. And this... Yeah, this was on Darm Tower Floor 6. We didn't even get to se the 7th level floor. But we're moving on up here. So we've... Out of 25 floors, we're already on 7. Making progress. If memory serves me correctly... Oops. Not load. <laughs> yeah, we're on seven now. Memory serves Seraph correctly. I want to say that we can get through Darm Tower in, um... in a good hour, maybe hour and a half. It is a big dungeon, but it's... It's not too crazy. I mean, we are still dealing with, you know, something from 1990. <laughs> All right, so there's this asshole. All right, that's a treasure chest I need to get to. Just need to figure out how to get to it. I don't think this is a Mask of Eyes deal. I think what happens is I need to get to the level... I think I need to get to floor eight and then come back. I think that's the secret here. Or I just go this way. No, oh, I think this is it. I think Seraph just needs to go this way. Yep. You always take damage from that one guy. Not, not a big deal. Of course, no, I need to not die. That's that's very important. Let's see what's in this treasure chest. Aha! The silver sword. All right. So we already got one of our silver items back. Good. Oof. not play around. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, we already got... I'm surprised we already got one of our silver equipment 
um, items back. Oh, hey, buddy. At all, it's me, Dogi. I've been looking for you. I've just heard from Grandma Java Toba. Now, how he heard from Java? She's outside Darm Tower. Are they doing carrier pigeons? I don't know. They never actually explained this. I've wondered this since the 90s. I have no idea, but anyway. <laughs> She said that there is a unique brooch placed somewhere in this tower. Without it, you could only see your reflection in the mirrors. So, that sounds weird as fuck. But basically, what the brooch does, I think this is how we came in, right? Yeah, this is how we came in and then we went that way. Right? I think this is Now Seraph is trying to remember already. I'm already starting to get lost in Darm Tower. Let's let's go around. So basically what happens is each time you go up the floors, these are balconies that go around the tower. So yeah, it doesn't real It's kind of a weird way to do it, but so uh, yeah, I went down the wrong way. I had a 50-50 shot at it, but at least you could go into the status and see where you are so you know if you're making a mistake or not. So that's not too bad. We just do a little bit of backtracking here and we'll back up to seven. And now we'll go down the correct one. And up we go. Let's see how much of this Seraph really remembers. But it's sort of coming back to me, even though I haven't played this game in 30 years. Remember bits and pieces of this whole thing. Before we go up, <laughs> we don't want to just skip this floor. Let's explore, make sure we're not missing anything. Probably pretty easy to miss shit. Uh oh, lovely. So we just got two ways to go up. Fuck. All right, let's go up this way first, and then we'll backtrack this way. I mean, we're ultimately gonna have to go each way anyway, so uh, we're just going up and down floors here. And I was just talking about like East games in general, but uh, nothing crazy. We got the blue necklace. Oh, um, so we ran into Dogi again and he got a message from Jeva and she said that uh, to tell, she wanted us to know that um, there's a special brooch that, um, damn it. That we need, uh, um, otherwise the mirrors will only act like mirrors. And it's like, on the surface, that sounds pretty strange, because what else is a mirror supposed to do other than, other than act like a mirror? But mirrors in Darm Tower act like teleporters. So we're gonna need that brooch to actually get somewhere. Don't. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Ah, now we got the silver shield. Uh, so East 3 Wanderers from East came out for the Super Nintendo. Oh, shit. Fuck. I totally forgot those statues came back to life. Fuck. Okay. Where was I? Uh... Did I get that already? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, so we gotta go back over there. We gotta get the silver sword again. I thought I saved. But Seraph was wrong. Well, Frank, guess what? You're gonna see everything you missed. <laughs> I completely forgot those fuckers came to life. I completely forgot that. Completely forgot. No, oh, don't kill me again. I just died already. Don't kill me again. This guy. Unfortunately, we just lost out on a lot of that XP. So I could use the heal ring. Oh my god. Hey, open. Let's equip the silver sword and let's just get the hell out of dodge here. Let's get out of dodge. Now, I don't think there was anything over here that we needed, but we'll check anyway. Actually, let's... Go here, 
heal ring and let's just heal now before we even get outside. This game is painful. I am using a co I am using a controller. Thank God I'm using a controller. Oh my God, using a keyboard on this would be terrible. Um, yeah, it's it's a typical '90s RPG. It's very 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 unforgiving. Uh, yeah, that's just a dead end. <laughs> But to me, I actually think that's, I think that's fun. Um, I, I like that it will absolutely murder you very indiscriminately if you take it too lightly. Um, which way am I going? Fuck. Uh, yeah, it begins. All right, so we're on, you know what, let me just save. It's not like I'm going to remember where we came from anyway at this point. I'm not doing it all over again. So if we go down here and we go over here, because the outside is the same. But if we go in and then it's uh, level six. Yeah. Darm! <laughs> Good old Darm Tower. Uh, but yeah, most likely this is going to be floor six. Yep, I was Yeah, I was right. So now we backtrack and we go the correct way and this time Seraph will do it without dying uh, But yeah, like I say, uh, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube warts and all I'm not editing anything We're gonna keep we're gonna keep the deaths uh, or as I call them learning opportunities uh, <laughs> Hopefully we won't have any issues like we did with uh, count uh, Dushkila the the bat monster from the mine that uh, that I still remember that being the hardest fucking boss of this game. So, uh, yep, we're already on level 8, so we're getting there. Okay. Let's see. Go. I don't remember there being a treasure chest up here. Good. Sure. So the reason why we're going this way is we need the silver sword. So if we keep going up that way, we probably would have no problem continuing to go up the tower. Shit, which way did I just come from? I think, I think this is the way we just came in, so I need to go this way. Uh... Right? Yeah, good. We're on floor nine. <laughs> yeah, Dorm Tower is just it's it's a huge it's it's just a fucking huge tower. It is pretty easy to get lost, but to me, I I still have um I had a harder time in the mine than than this, as far as getting lost. This it's easy to get turned around and in this at least is but you can at least see what you're what you're doing. Okay, this time. Oh, uh, you little fucker. And of course they respawn. Heal ring. Oh, stop respawning. Okay, good. Just stay over there. <laughs> okay. Do do do. Armor ring. Save so that we don't have to redo all that again. Okay. Yeah, that oh, that one always gets you. Alright. This is always a little brutal. I shouldn't have done that. I should have... Oh, come on! Give me a break! Let me save! Let me save, damn you! <laughs> right, let me just heal... Oh. Come on! Fucking break. Stay over there. Now we save. We kill this guy. Actually, we're just gonna do this and run. Okay. It's not so bad when you actually uh, are moving instead of doing what I did and was just deciding to be like, Ooh, doo -doo -doo, let me just keep chatting away. And like, I just sat there and died like a... 
<laughs> I just died like a bitch. <laughs> uh, that was better. All right, now we've we've recovered all that missed territory. Okay, so that's all this stuff. We're actually about to level up again, and we could go and kill those guys again. I don't like that idea though. We will get plenty of XP. Let's just see what's down here. Of course. Oh, but wait, there's more. <sighs> All right, you know what? Let's, since I can go up this way. Oh, good grief. You know what? Let's just, let's go up this and just see what's going on up here. And then we'll just have to try to remember to come back. Where are all the landmarks? I know, everything looks the same. That's why it's really easy to get a little lost. And Darm Tower, just the way it works, is we're going to go up and down a bunch of floors a few times. So there'll, there will be some getting lost involved. Just how it goes. Oh, and we could just go straight up here. Or let's see what else there is on this floor. I have a feeling we're going to need to backtrack sooner rather than later. Let's see. What's going on up here? Believe it or not, though, I do remember getting a sense for where things were. Now, not that I have any memory of that now, but I suspect if this is anything like what I remember. Damn. Oh my god. And another way up. Okay. Okay. So this floor, the purple, the purple stone. Okay. Let me just save. Because I think going forward is going to get us killed. I think we're going to die the second we come in here. Yep. Can't even get into that door, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. All right, so I need to talk to Rasta again. The goons caught me and locked me in here. <laughs> yeah. The morbid dude tune playing in the corridor is being pumped through one of the hollow pillars that supports the wall in the outer walkway. If you could break into that pillar, the dreadful music will stop and I could escape from here. All right. So it was important that we came this way. So now we get to go back down because we have to go up a completely different way to find that pillar. So when inadvertently we went the right way. I don't think Seraph remembered the right way after all these years. This was just a happy accident that we went the right way. But now we get the hell out of here. And if not for that, we wouldn't really be able to survive that. Well, I mean, we have the heel ring, but I guess they're, they're making it so this part is passable, even if you didn't get the heel ring at some point. Because otherwise, if you didn't have the heel ring, Escaping that corridor would be impossible. We did that. Now we go back and we try to kill, uh, get rid of that weird evil music. And we've got a bunch of different ways we didn't go. We have a bunch of different ways we didn't go. So let's start. Number one, no floor. Sometimes there are doors at the very bottom. That's the only problem. <laughs> that can be hard to find sometimes. Ah, here it is. Do I need an item? I might need an item. Ugh. Alright, so it's one of these. I don't think... Oh, hey, Luda. At all, it's me, Luda Gemma. Hey, Darkstar, I had some bump ugly to some nasties, yeah! <laughs> yeah, this time of bumping uglies results in them dying. You know what, though? I'm already used to the bump system again. I heard from an old man named Rasta that a girl had been caught and brought here. Yes. And when I first played this game, I'm like, so help me if Fina got kidnapped again? I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> um... But it is not Fina, it's somebody else. Anyway, uh, he said that she will be, uh, that she will soon be killed. Please save her. So yeah, it's important that we, uh, that we find whoever that is. All right, so that was it for this. So now we, now we start really going down. 
one of these is pillar I need to destroy. Don't. Yeah, I think I need an item for it. And I think you have to just kind of, I don't, I, I, I need an item. I'm almost positive I need an item, but one of these columns is one of, is, is the thing we have to destroy. To destroy the uh, pipe, the toxic pipe organ music. Kill that, and down, back down we go. And because the tower itself, these balconies, uh, ring the entire tower, it doesn't matter which way you go. It'll, it'll take us to the stairway on the other side of the tower. Back up we go. And let's see how much of this <laughs> Seraph really remembers as far as where we were. All right, so we came down here. We got the silver sword from there. We went up that way, and that's where we got that. So, okay, we keep going down, I think. I think we keep going down from here. Pretty sure. And if not, I will wander around <laughs> until we eventually figure it out. Oh my god, this tower is so big. Gotta love the East Mega Dungeon. So this is where we came. All right, this is where we came in. Then we went up that way. So now we need to go down this way and go up the other way. That's just dead end. Okay, now we go up this way. Oh, fuck. Oh, what kind of bullshit is this? Oh, shit. Okay. So this, this is going to take some being used to again. Okay, right. That's how this works. Hey, Mantis Boy. Yep, perfect. Yeah, this one's not too bad. Oops. Messed up there. Come on, throw those. There we go, perfect. Ah, uh, damn it. But yeah, it's not too bad when you actually remember what the hell, how the hell it works. Come on, go the others. Go the others. Come on, thank you. Come on, throw that last one. There we go, thank you. You can only throw three at a time, so once he throws the other ones... Ah. Once he throws all three... He's open season. Wow, this is taking a while. I'm, uh, I think I'm underleveled for this. <laughs> Sorry. We got him. Oh, shit. Made a mistake there. Damn it. Buddy. Keep throwing this. There we go. Perfect. I love it when he throws all three like that. We got him for a little while. Ah. Would have been nicer if he had really committed more of those. Come on, throw that last one. There we go. Good. Good mantis thing. Damn it! I knew it the second I had to cruise down, I'm like, I'm not gonna be fast enough. Fuck! <laughs> Although the real problem was I made the mistake very early on where he hit me like three different times. Come on, buddy. I got you. Look at this guy. Come on, throw that last one. There we go. Um, wasn't great. Whoa! Okay, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ah, shit. Throw them this way. There we go. That's better. Come on, come on. Go. Throw that last one. Ah, not me. 
<laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Decided not to get over anxious with it there. It's better just to be patient. Not during boss battles. Thankfully, once you got once you got started in East 3, then you could use uh, items during boss battles. You just couldn't change the item. But uh, I mean, I'll try again just in case my memory is god. That would have made the bat thing a little easier. But uh, I am almost positive. All right, so I saved it, right? Let's go to the inventory. He'll push it, right? So I think you need to go into the inventory. Actually, oh, maybe it's not letting me because I don't have any damage. Right? Yeah, maybe it's because I don't have any damage. It's not letting me actually use the heal potion. There we go. That's the hit. That's the thing we needed. I knew it was something like a hammer. Now we have the volume Mesa. But yeah, I wish I wish I could heal. Even once during a during a boss battle would make my life easier. Although, even if I could, I wouldn't waste the healing item on that one. Save. And now we go back up to the column area. And we use the hammer on each column until it finally gets blasted apart. Pretty sure the column way is. Wait. Which way is the column way again? Ah, oh, Seraph. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna really. Rem I'm not gonna remember, am I? I almost wonder if I should just write it down. But again, how do you even really write it down? Ah, you're taking out easy. Taking off? All right, Frank, have a good one, man. I'll join you on Helldivers at some point. I'm probably going to pick up that game uh, at some point this week, so maybe we'll get some gaming in on uh, at some point. I think this is the way up, but if not, we'll go the other way. That's the good part. <laughs> we only got two shots at this. So we go up, and we need to get back to floor... I think we need to get to floor 10. Floor 10 is where the pipe, uh, the columns are. We're already starting to do a little bit more damage. I don't think this is the right way. Oh, this is. Perfect. Okay, so that's the button for activating an item. Now, I think it's near the end. So I'm going to spare myself the trouble here. Pretty sure it's the second to last one. Maybe not that one. Maybe it's this one. Oh, okay. There it is. Good night. Okay. <laughs> All right, back down the other way. Now we're ready. Oh, heal, 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 heal. Come on. Now I feel a little better about it. <laughs> I killed one of those things. Oh, come on, buddy. That's why I was doing so much more damage. I had the power ring equipped instead. Okay. 
Now when we head back over this way, all that organ music will be, toxic organ music will be done, and we can advance past this part. Getting there, little by little. Save. You can see why I save a decent amount, just because you can get so easily lost, but now we're not taking damage. So I cruise in here, Rasta's not here, good, there's nothing else to be had here. Still on the lookout for the silver armor. It worries me that we've already found the silver shield and the silver sword. With all the going up and down we've done, I hope I haven't missed the silver armor. That would involve a lot of really annoying backtracking. <laughs> Which I would really prefer not to do. Uh, yeah, you know what? If I die, that's that much less running around that we have to do again. Huh, okay. One way to go back up and down under that. That's literally all there is to this floor. Lulling me into a false sense of security here. <sighs> okay. Gotta love the mirrored uh, floor. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'm free now. The girl was taken to Rado's Annex, which is located at the end of a long catwalk near the back of the 16th floor. It's with the silver monkey. <laughs> Rado's Annex is protected by a strong black magic. Only those wearing an evil repellent can open the door. I would like you to help her, brave swordsman. I guess I've talked too much. My wound is starting to hurt. You'd better hurry or you'll be too late. The girl's life is in grave danger. All right, so, fortunately, I'm pretty sure this is the item that you need to get into that door. And I think this is the, what he's talking about. You need an evil ring, like literally the evil ring. Um, the problem is when you equip the evil ring, you just start taking damage. So it's really not a useful ring, but that's what gets you through the door, I think. It's been 30 years, but you know, we don't have the brooch yet, so these don't act as teleporters, they're just mirrors. Once we get the brooch, we can start using uh, all these mirrors as teleporters, the way they're supposed to be. Oh, okay, that might be the silver armor in that treasure chest. Okay, now if memory serves me correctly, we're gonna have to fight a boss for that brooch and then come back here, activate the teleporters, and then we can move on with our lives. Or we have to go now up a little bit more. What's, we're on 14. Okay, so we have two floors to go up to get to the girl who's gonna be killed. Because we've gone two floors now. <laughs> But the mirrored floor, that's a preview of what's to come. Some of the upper floors, that's all that is. Uh, time, time bust out your most, oh, time to bust out your most threadbare undergarments because you need some holy underwear. <laughs> uh, more, more boss battles here. Now this guy's gonna give me the brooch. Uh, hopefully we don't need to, oh, this bullshit. Okay. Yeah. This, this, this bullshit. This, this bullshit. All right, I think I might need to grind a little bit with this. Okay, we just gotta get, we just gotta hit him just right. And then we got him. It's not, it's not too bad. Yeah, in this case, the armor ring doesn't even really do much for us. May as well just go with the power ring. It'll take us a couple of attempts, but we got this guy. Wait, there we go. Damn, almost got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game over. I know, I know. Huh. 
something there because so i think the i think the only thing that actually hurts you are those little uh pellets so, yep, I was right it's just the pellets but so i feel like once you just go in there as long as you just kind of go in a, in the proper circle it's just it's easy so it's just me over by the wall that time. Mm. Yeah. Come on, give me that last one. We keep doing just that. We keep almost killing him. <laughs> like literally. We we keep almost killing him. kick that time. But yeah, I, I was pressing the item button and it doesn't uh, turn on. Well, actually, let me, let me check. Let me do the heal part just to see if it actually does do it. I don't think so. Yeah. No, no heal potion. That would make some of these bosses very easy, very much easier. Yeah, I'm just going to do it another couple of times just to see if we could just get, get over and done with this. He hiss early on. Okay, let me try something a little different here. Damn, that one I mean, just totally killed us. Yeah, I had a feeling going on the right side and just trying to barely skirt him was the way to do this, but I figured, eh, let me try something a little different. I think I'm just too low level for this. This is really not a whole lot to it. No, ow. God damn, he does so much damage when those freaking things just stay on you. It's not like Adol is very fast. Trying to finesse it, I, I don't. Rem I, I didn't remember finessing it being very rewarding. I seem to remember just go in there and move around till it doesn't hit you. And then wow, that, that was not a good plan. Maybe I do just need to get an extra level. One more time, just for feeling. And then we're done with this. That's, uh, that's pretty much what I remembered here. Okay, yeah, I was underleveled for that. I gained three levels fighting that guy. I definitely was not leveled sufficiently to fight him. That was that was part of the problem there, but I, I didn't remember that being overly complicated. There we go, volume Gemma. Not that I could read it anyway. At the moment. But there's the brooch. Now we can use the mirror teleports. And we're in business. Alright. Back we go. Alright. So. That was on. Yeah, that was on level, four, level, uh, level 14. Now we go back to 13. I don't think I have to equip the brooch. I think it is sufficient to have the brooch. Yep. So now... He should be gone by now. Oh, he's still here. Oh, damn it. Oh, I can't skip it. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't going to have any different dialogue. Oh, I'm so stupid. Like, 
I mean, a lot of RPGs, sometimes the dialogue changes. You gotta make sure it doesn't change, right? You better hurry or you'll be too late. The girl's life is in grave danger. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna save her as soon as I can. I'm working on it. I got the brooch, man. Bastard. Heal ring. I definitely cheese things with the heal ring, but I mean, come on. <laughs> it's not like there's an inn anywhere. We're just kind of stuck in this dungeon all... Yeah, I know. Okay. I don't think there was anywhere else to go, right? Just this. Right, that's how we came down in. Uh, I do not remember. Okay. Well, there's no other way to go there. So it has to be this one. Nothing else. Yeah, okay. Let's make sure there's no treasure chest this way, but otherwise, going down into the left is the one we want. Uh, yeah, this gets a little crazy. So we went back here. This is here. Yeah, now it gets a little tricky because the mirrors really mess up, like, your spatial orientation. It's really hard to remember what I did and what I didn't do. Oh, bastard. Heal. <laughs> but at least none are going to respawn here. But now Seraph is going to be very... Yeah, well, if you would shut up, dude, I'd get right on that. <laughs> right, right, stupid NPCs. Oh, man. My own fault for talking to him again. Um, I almost... Yeah, fuck it. Alright, so that brings us back to here. Okay. So this is where the start of this whole bullshit was. Here we go. I go back to here. Takes me, that does take me, okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that does in fact take you back. Okay. I hate these mirror mazes. Oh my God. I mean, on one hand, it's a cool idea, right? But I hate being super lost in the mirror maze. This is the way to go. No, that's not the way I want to go. Or... Oh, right. Damn it. Okay, that's what I will. That's what we need. We need to get to that, whatever that is. Oh, perfect. That worked. Since he's going to stand by that treasure chest and not move, we're going to heal. Ring, save. Super easy to get fucking lost. Boy, am I glad I healed there. <laughs> well, we're in a mirror maze. So we uh, we defeated a couple of bosses and um, we got a brooch that turns the mirrors from just normal mirrors into teleport portals. So now every time I touch a mirror, it teleports us. Hopefully this is silver armor. Yes. Okay. Okay. Equipment. Get better armor. All right. So we got our silver shit back. That's good. We, uh, oh, and I was, uh, right when I was, uh, talking to you the other day. Uh, it was indeed literally a hammer to, uh, wait. Uh, no, we already went up, so we need to go back to this. This guy, uh, it was indeed a hammer to uh, destroy the organ music. I did not remember which uh, which pillar it was, so I just started hitting all of the pillars until the organ music stopped. I think this is the one I want. 50-50 uh, shot at that, and I think I guessed wrong. It was the right one I wanted. 
damn, 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 damn. Okay, so this one, take me over this way. Yeah, back to the start. Okay, back here. All right. No, go fuck yourself. Okay, right one. Okay. Remember, before I commit to that. All right, so there's a mirror there. No mirror here. All right, so there's really only two choices. Really only two choices for mirrors. There's either that one or this one. I think I did the other one last time. So let's go through this one this time. Yep, perfect. Okay. Amazing, every so often Sarah remembers something. Oh God, don't kill me. Okay. That was the way through the mirror maze. That mirror maze. But wait, there's more. <laughs> There's a uh, more complicated mirror maze on floor 22, I think it is. I think it spans floor 23 and 22, if memory serves me correctly. I think it spans both of them. And you just hop around both those floors like a goddamn ping pong ball. But for now, we're trying to get to floor 16 to save whoever got kidnapped. Right, chest. There we go. Now we got a better shield. Woohoo! So even if we hadn't found the silver shield, by this point we would have at least found a better shield. I don't think there was anything else. I think we're well on our way here. All right, so here's 16. Here's floor 16. Yep, that's what we need. We need to get over there. That's where... That's where the kidnapped girl is, whoever that is. Is there another way up? There might be another way up. On the other hand, we might have to go up and then down. Right, that's the way I think we need to go. And if we keep going up, yep, there's that. So perfect. Okay. So I think happens here is we need to go up a little bit and then come back down. It's either that or I missed something in the mirror maze. And we need to... Oh, shit. I think we missed something in the mirror maze. Because this is a way up. Definitely don't want to be going... I think we want to be going too far up, right? Yeah, that's 17. Pretty sure it's going to be on 16. I think it's down. I think it's this way. Either that or I did miss something in the mirror maze and there was another way up. I really hope... It's not the mirror maze. Hope it's this. Good. It is. This this part's kind of cool. Okay. Oops. It's freaking slimes, man. Uh. Please don't kill me. That would be super lame. It's fucking slimes. Let me save so I don't, just in case this thing kills me. that I'm ready to go in case one of the slimes comes back. All right, good. Looks like we found a spot where I can just heal here really quick. And then I'm going to equip the evil ring and open this door. Now we save. Now there's much less likely for death. Equipment. 
evil ring. When you extend the ring towards the door, it opens as if welcoming its master. Perfect. Put the armor ring back on. Now let's find out who's here. Adolf, it's me, Lair, the poet. I knew you had the courage to save me, but to be honest with you, I allowed myself to be caught. I didn't know any other way to find you. That's a stupid I plan. have something of great interest for you. You are aware of the books of Ys, but not everyone can read these books. I have a pair of glasses that will allow you to do so. You have shown your courage, and I see you as our only hope. Please, take the glasses. Now, Lara is cool. I give her some shit by her harmonica, but she is a cool character. The demon who locked me here is Dark Fact. He is plotting to use his evil powers to make this land his own. You must defeat Dark Fact if we are to have any chance. So now we know who's in charge of all these goons, made by the name of Dark Fact. So Dark Fact's cape is coated with a unique protectant. Without the full lineup of silver equipment, you can never defeat him. I mean, she literally tells you this. Point blank. <laughs> there is something I must do now, so please go ahead and don't worry about me. Uh, sure, Lair. I'm just gonna let a helpless girl just go. It's totally cool. Yeah, we'll save. We'll save. So now we can actually read these books. Now if we go to... Actually, let's... Now that we can read them, uh, let's just start from the very beginning here. So Volume Hadel. Right, that's how it works. The prosperity of peace began with the creation of a magical metal known as Claria. On the highest mountain stands Solomon's Shrine which symbolized the great wealth of East. The land of East was ruled by two goddesses and six priests. The goddesses were the embodiment of our health and happiness. Actually, should I just wait and read these? But eh, let's at least read the ones that we didn't read yet. So this is volume Mesa now. The evil powers had shown their force. A dark and eerie stranger had been following us and he began closing in. All the village people were terrified and could offer no defense against this vile devil and the creatures who stalked the neighborhoods. Finally, we escaped into Solomon Shrine after being chased by six huge hatchetmen. Soon after this, the goddesses disappeared and have been long lost ever since. The next day, the attack suddenly stopped. We haven't seen the dark stranger since. Like Gemma. Hey, we know a guy named Ludajama, actually. Volume Gemma. A special amulet has been handed down for generations within the Gemma family. This deep blue amulet has the unique power to break the wicked curse of the evil intruders. Now that explains why it uh, allowed uh, us to get through all that shit. Get here without dying. And these things are hardcore, but we're going to gain a level as soon as we find another one. Just like that. Oh, you little bastard. Fortunately, we're technically outside. We'll just regain some health and resume our journey. So yeah, in a way, I, I give Lair shit, but it's like, damn, you let yourself be captured on purpose just to deliver that message? All right. Solid. <laughs> I mean, sounds reckless as shit, but gotta give the girl credit for being brave. But yeah, if she allowed herself to be captured, it tells me she wasn't really in any danger, despite what uh, Rasta may have thought. So now we resume our ascent up. And we're on floor. We're on 17. We're getting there. We only have, uh, <laughs> we only have eight more floors to go. Not too bad. 
We're only uh, an hour and a half in. Oh my god, we're already an hour and a half in. <laughs> I actually, you know, part of me really thought I might be able to do all 25 floors in like an hour and a half. Uh, that was, as it turns out, extraordinarily ambitious. That's a... We've got another boss or two? Oh. Hey, buddy. Really? This guy's brutal. Oh, well, all right. Since I already have a heal potion, it's gonna just use it automatically. That works. Gets me just fine. You know what, let's... If I remember correctly, these guys give a shit ton of XP. them so I remember I remember the farming points I'm just gonna go up and down a couple of times and we'll, we'll gain a level or two because we saw what happened when we were uh, under leveled even though I kind of knew how to kill that one boss it was doing so much damage to me that it took a couple extra tries than it probably should have but uh, since these guys give such good XP we'll just wander back and forth for a quick minute I'm not gonna do this too long but they're giving great experience points so yeah we just gained what like already two levels if not three uh i may only get up for one more level here just to shoot the shit for a quick minute while we do that so, this goes really quick it's one of the reasons why i remember it because any other point you'd be wandering back and forth you really have to maneuver a lot but these guys they're worth so much. You just gotta go straight up, straight down. Nice and easy. Like, come on, sure. <laughs> I'll take XP. It's like, kind of like any hypocrisy of the money. You're like, I like money. I like XP. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll do we'll do this for one more little wave here. Gain one more level and then we'll resume the, the ascent up. Because we're gonna need this XP going forward. And I really haven't farmed that much, but East really does expect you to farm for XP. Yeah, there we go. Wow, I could probably do this again, but... Um, right, okay. Let's see, how much is it giving me for each of these? Yeah, at this point, now it would be, now it'd be grindy. Alright, now we'll resume. I mean, shit. If it was just gonna... Okay, well, only because they were right there. <laughs> But that wasn't too bad. I mean, we spent, what, two minutes tops on that? Now we're level... We gained at least two levels, if not three. And now we're level 32. We're moving right along. Oh, let's heal. Yep, perfect. Yeah, if I were playing this off stream, I probably would take like 10 minutes and just march back and forth there, but I'm not gonna completely bog things down. But for just those one, one or two minutes, that was definitely time well spent. All right. Uh, we have choices here. We could either go up here. We could go up here. We could wander over here. And I feel like no matter which way I choose, we're going to end up doing the other one again anyway. Because, I mean, we got to make sure we don't miss anything, even if I'm picking the right direction. Oh my god. Okay, this is the way we came in. Right. So let's, uh, let's just go up this way and see what's, see what's doing. Arm Tower. What a fucking dungeon. <laughs> this thing is... This thing's a beast, man. 
I feel like it's not just a dungeon, but like an entire ecosystem. Like each area has different monsters. There are definitely some different challenges. Oops. Oh, fuck. You know this is gonna be bad. Oh, uh, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. Oh, okay. I... Maybe I need the blue necklace equipped. <laughs> that was weird, right? It actually teleported me. Maybe I do need the blue blue necklace equipped. All right. Well, anyway, blue necklace is equipped now. Try this again without getting hit. Okay. I guess it's designed to kind of discombobulate you. Yep. That's all it was. That's all it was. It was just designed to confuse you so that uh, you would make a mistake and get killed by the goons there. All right, well, we got the battle armor. That was a good decision. We will take significantly less... Damn it, stop hitting me. Bastards. <laughs> okay. I think that was the only way to go in here, right? Yeah, it really was the only way to go. All right, cool. Sweet. Okay, so now back we go. And then we'll go down into the left. Since we went up into the right last time. Weird as it is, like, in a weird sort of way, it's kind of coming back to me. I mean, it's still fuzzy as all sh as all hell, because, I mean, man, literally 30 fucking years. But, I'm remembering more of it than I thought I would. I'm sure I'm not going to remember the way through the lore, the floor 22 mirror maze. <laughs> I am sure I'm not going to remember that. So, um, so without spoiling things here, but looking ahead here, we, all right, so we're already on Darm Tower floor 20. My God, we're making pretty good progress here. So floor 25 is reserved for the last boss, which we already now know from Lair is Dark Fact. So I'll just spot you guys. Dark Fact is on floor 25. There's nothing else on 25 other than him. Level 24 is basically just stairs that lead up to him. So we really only have like three real floors left. I haven't saved in a while. I mean, I know it's two floors, but we, we actually dealt with some pretty crazy shit there. So, yeah, let's get the heal potion back, just in case. Everything else here looks good. Okay. Hopefully, we find battle sword soon. Although the battle sword really isn't that big a deal. Or at least... Whoa! I thought it was Doki! <laughs> it was a wall that crushed! Why wouldn't it be Doki? <laughs> I just sat there while he stabbed me in the face. <laughs> oh my god, that was bonkers. Alright, so let's get rid of this guy. Alright. And Alright. This is a, this is probably either the this is probably that sword I was just talking about. Yep, flame sword. Ask and you shall receive. You were just talking about the flame sword and a bunch of goons show up out of the freaking wall to ambush you. <laughs> oh my god. Bastards. And then we do more damage to them. This isn't going to be used... Like, if we tried to wield this against Dark Fact, it would do no damage. But for anything else in the tower, including one more boss along the way, it's going to be nice to do a little extra damage. I think I want to gain at least one more level before we fight the next boss. Oh, God. Okay. Never mind. We're here already. Never mind, we're here. Okay, we could do this. Maybe... Maybe it's not as bad as Seraph remembers. Alright, so it's the floor 21 mirror maze. Maybe it's not as bad as I remember. Maybe it's not as bad as I remember. Hey! Hey! 
to everybody. It can't be too bad. That end. Well, I'm going to get my wish of uh, farming a little bit just because I'm going to end up attacking a lot, killing a lot of enemies as I wander around getting my lay of the land again. Actually, this is the way we want to go, I think. This is the way we came, right? Oh god, I'm already losing my mind. Am I about to go down a floor doing this? Or did I find the way out already? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go down a floor. Yep, went down a floor. Fuck. <laughs> it begins! It begins! Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Although I may be making it worse than it even might be just because I, oh, I maxed out on gold. I can't actually get any more gold anymore. But there's nothing to spend gold on, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see. Yep, I think it's here. So that door is where we want to go. We have a 50-50 chance of guessing this right. I think I guessed wrong. Oh, no, I guessed right. The question is, did I miss a treasure chest? I don't even know if there is a treasure chest. I think it's all just one big fucking maze. All right, well, you know what? Let's just save here. Uh, I do not believe there is another treasure chest. I think it's just a crazy bullshit maze. Right? Although, boy, it looks like we're missing a whole bunch of things, doesn't it? Got all these, though, so... Oh, fuck it. Let's assume I did it right this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hate this bullshit. Yep. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Right, right, right. That's how we have to do that. You have to go alternating between them. Yeah, that's how this works. Come on, buddy. Oh, all right, fine. Go around this way. Wait for you to go that way. Oh, damn it. All right, but that's okay. It took me a second to remember how it works. Oh, yeah. Um... Power ring. Yeah, let's do more damage to it. Let's just try not to get hit this time. Okay, so it's the blue one is the one that takes damage. Oh. Man. Okay, it is the orange one. I'm just taking way more damage than I would like. Ah! Damn it. More level. Yeah, thanks. Now let's see if I can remember how to get back there again. I forgot how annoying that boss is. But once we're past him, we're basically are done with Darm Tower. Now let's see if Seraph remembers how to get back in there. It was the left mirror, though. Let me just see what happens if I go through the right mirror. Yeah, it just picks it back here. There is nothing else we had. Okay, it's not too bad. All right. Um, yeah, there's no reason to back here. Right, that's just a loop. Let's go back this way. Let's try doing this again. This time correctly. This way. Right, right, right. Now it's coming back to me. Okay. Here we 
go. I mean, I could grind for another level, but I think we're okay here. We should at least be better. And now I've, I've got a handle of the floor now. Power ring. Now let's save. Try this again. And it's entirely possible I have more trouble with this fucker than uh, Dark Fact. Right. One doesn't do any damage, Seraph. when you're dealing with a character that doesn't move very fast. And it actually gets easier as it goes around, because the more damage it takes, the less uh, these it has, as you can see. At this point, it's pretty much a done deal. I'm just making sure I'm not stupid here. And he's dead. Yeah, a lot easier. Yeah, beware, beware our floaty heads. It is, it is easier when you're the appropriate level. I think we probably could have gotten it without leveling, but we were so close last time. It was like, well, why not? I mean, we literally just did a quick circle around. And I think just like that, ladies and gents, and you can see we're just kind of going up a bunch of floors in the last one. Oof. Okay, protected by a special force. It's, uh, okay. Heal ring, let's heal that. I think I need to re-equip Evil Ring, and the Evil Ring gets me through this door. It's either that or I missed an item somewhere. Hopefully I did not miss an item. Oh my god, can you imagine getting to the very top of the floor of this damn thing, only to find that uh, I missed something somewhere? That would be so lame. Hey, Zeltoid, <laughs> what would that be? Oh, so lame. Yeah, fine, thank you. <laughs> uh, but let's save here. Case. Oh, shit. Hmm. Let's, uh, heal ring and let's set my silver stuff. I don't think setting the silver stuff gets us through the door. Unless I have to set the, uh, you know what, I may have to set the amu uh, blue necklace. Damn. Did I forget something? Oh, shit. Oh, that would really suck if I forgot something. heal and we'll go through and we'll equip the brooch and if not I'm gonna have to assume that I missed something and if that's the case oh my god I'm gonna have to go back through Darm Tower and try to figure out which of those corridors I didn't go down I now need to go down I actually thought I went down every one of them but if uh, if this door isn't letting us through it means Seraph missed a door hallway somewhere but before we do that let's just make sure Okay, we're not missing something here. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing I missed something. Oh, that sucks so bad. Uh, yeah. That that sucks, man. Uh, let me just check. Is there anything else I could have equipped? Not the glasses. Sarah's crystal. I equipped the brooch. I equipped the necklace. Yeah, no, we're uh, we're boned. I missed, I missed something. Okay, so somewhere in Dorm Tower, Seraph missed an item. Seraph missed an item somewhere. Oh, fuck. I cannot believe we're this close. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> oh god, hopefully I didn't forget something outside of Darm Tower entirely, and this is what I was thinking of. So what I was thinking of earlier on 
as far as things that might get you locked out of uh, being able to complete Darm Tower. If you didn't get the um, evil ring in the mine and you got into Darm Tower, you wouldn't be able to open the door that gets you to Lair. And you wouldn't be able to get the glasses. You wouldn't be able to complete Darm Tower without getting to Lair. So I'm pretty sure this is what I was thinking of. Um, I don't think we're stuck, but um, it does look like it's time to backtrack a little bit and see what see what I missed. There must be a treasure chest somewhere. There there must be there must be some sort of treasure chest. But that's okay. We're we're basically done with the tower. We just got to get one last thing. Whatever we missed, we just got to find it. So Make sure I didn't miss anything on this floor. I feel like I explored this whole thing though, but like it would be nice if whatever we missed wasn't fall. It would be nice if it's on 20 or 21. I don't think we're gonna be that lucky, but we could try. Yep, that just takes you in a circle. Pretty sure anyway. Uh this one takes you forward. Yep. <laughs> Ow! Uh, this will take us back down. Let me just let me just do the mirrors one more time, really quick, just to make sure. I think this leads us this way, and this is gonna lead us to that one room. And it's gonna give me up, and then left is the actual proper way to go. And then this is okay. Yeah, there's really nothing else to that, and left takes us the way we need to go. Although what I could do is go left and see if there's another way to go other than the way we do go. I don't think there is, but let's find out. That's the correct way. Correct way. Yeah, there's nothing else here other than the correct... Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing else here. But couldn't hurt to look. Takes us back here. We've gone down that way a whole bunch of times. Let's go down this way. I think I went down this way, but let's do it again just in case. Yep, it just takes us there. It takes us there. All right, yeah, there's, there's, for sure, there is nothing else in here. Yeah. This just takes us all. Although that's another way to go this way. And then back, back to the start we are. All right, so. Uh, time to go back down. Time to go back down. What did Seraph miss? God damn it. Now we're going to save and dead a different, in a different spot. <laughs> just in case. Um, just in case I get totally lost, I could always now go back to the top of the tower. What item gets us through that door? Hmm. All right. That's okay. We'll backtrack a little bit. We probably don't think we missed anything with the mask of eyes. That's where we got the sword. That's where we got the battle sword. So let's backtrack. Maybe there's another way. Maybe there's another branch up that has an item and it's not too far to go. I mean, whatever it is, I don't remember anything that you miss that makes you go all the way back down to like say the basement levels. I don't think we're gonna have to go down that far. I don't see a mask of eyes deal anywhere. Uh, that takes us back up. Oh. So maybe maybe we didn't go up this way. That would be convenient. Feel like we did. Feel like we did. Let's look anyway. Especially in these top eight levels. Yeah, I feel like we were already in here too. Let's see a mask of eyes. Kind of outline. Usually, if there's a place to use the mask of eyes, there's an out. Yeah, there's. This is all this shit. Whoops. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. 
Let's go back down this way. All right, we did go in. We did indeed go up this branch. <laughs> For sure. And there wasn't anything else up that way. It's fine. Back down we go. Back down we go. Regenerate some health actually really quick. All right, so we should be done with Darm Tower now. Let's see, we're at an hour 45 minutes. How much extra time will we waste looking for the thing we missed? <laughs> if we were actually properly uh, productive with our time. Well, we're going to gain a level pretty soon. So there's that. We got that going for us. And then once we find whatever this item is, then we get to go all the way back up again. Uh, did I have to talk to Rasta after saving Lair? Maybe. That's possible, actually. Maybe we have to talk to Rasta, although I don't think so. Feel like... Random. time with you guys. That's weird, right? Got the battle equipment equipped. I mean, I got the armor ring because I don't want to take as much damage. But maybe we'll do the power ring. Okay, fine. Let's do the power ring now. Ooh, I'm still having a hard time with these guys every so often. Weird. That wasn't happening earlier. Whatever. Down, down we go. What did we miss? What did we miss? This fucking tower is so huge. <laughs> but assuming we... F All right, so at some point we're going to find whatever item we, we fucked up on. And we'll go back to the top of the tower. And at this point, we shouldn't have that much trouble finding the way up. I hope. God, I hope not. And then once uh, once we beat Dark Fact, we can get a little started on East Book 2. I don't know how much of East Book 2 will do, but we should be able to get started on it a little bit. Damn. This fucking thing is huge. All right, let's not go through that yet. There's another way up. That's what, probably what we'll want to do. We got that already. What did we miss? Did we miss something down? We may have missed a doorway down somewhere. And if we go down too far and don't find anything, we'll just load and we'll just load from the top. That way we don't have to rescale. We'll save ourselves some some time going up and down and up and down. Because we're not getting that much XP wandering around at this point. I'd rather just load to the top and and check things out again and see what the hell see what the hell Seraph is missing here. Alright. We'll go talk to you again. Hell, maybe we missed something in this floor. Possible. We just came down this way, right? Yeah, we just came down this way. For sure. Just want to make sure. So all these mirrors do the same exact thing. <laughs> A lot of mirrors, they'll do different shit. They're not always properly two way. Although on this floor, I think they are. So, I just wait one. A lot of that. Okay, so we got a choice here. We could actually go up. I don't think we went up this way, right? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh. You'll at least be able to get through the forward of book two, Rimshot. <laughs> Hold the phone. Did we? Shit, you know what? I don't know. 
You know what? There are two ways up, and I think I only went one way up. Oh no, this way goes up to, um... Right, this way goes up to the other boss. We went this way. We did go this way. Right. This is the way you go up if you don't have the brooch and the mirrors don't work. Yeah, then we fought this boss and we got, we got the, uh, yeah, okay. And then we got the brooch, right. Never mind. Seraph just remembered. It's not like we didn't do that just like a half hour ago or something. <sighs> Shit, man. <laughs> I wish I could remember what opens the door that leads to the top of the tower. Um, good grief. And I don't want to look it up. Let me wander around a little bit more. I know it's a little bit of a kind of like a waste of time, but let me wander around and see if I can get it. Rather, I remember that Ludogeno had some kind of amulet. He may be able to break the... God damn it, I was right. Well, at least I had the right instinct. Talk to Rasta again. All right, so Ludog we got to go find Ludogemma, and he's going to give us some sort of fucking amulet. Maybe I'll break the black magic with that amulet. All right, so we got to find Ludogemma again. Son of a bitch. All right, back down we go. Now, if memory serves correctly, Ludogemma was around level floor 11 or something. And I think he's at least in one of the corridors now. So it shouldn't be too bad to track him down, and then we got to go all the way back up. But I don't remember him being too ridiculously far behind, or too far below, too far below here. Okay, but at least Seraph is on the right path. I did have to backtrack. All right, at least we knew. <laughs> uh. Now, why Rasta couldn't have mentioned that before I went to the top of the tower and had to go all the way fucking back? That bastard. Fine. <laughs> oh, right. No. Uh, there's nothing new in here, right? Nope. Okay. Back down we go. Well, Luda should only be a floor or two below this one. God, how far down did we go? Oh my god, we're already down to 11, floor 11. But we're not going to have to go down all the way to the basement. Because Luda did come up from the basement. Well, something was there until we killed it. <laughs> I think right there. Damn it, Luda Gemma. Where are you hiding, bro? Uh... I think we go down. Don't think he's up. Because the other up the other up way is to break the pillar. We don't need to do that anymore. New zone. And once we find this guy and he gives us whatever dumbass amulet he should have given us before. Well, the cool thing is, these guys aren't even doing damage to us anymore. Hey, bro. Come back. Here. Here. Maybe. Down, down, down we go. Thank God the level music of this is really good, even though it's repetitive. <laughs> it keeps... <laughs> it's really... It's really saving grace to all this backtracking. Yeah, I forgot the, the late... the late East one backtracking. Uh, is Luda that way? Don't believe he is, but you know what? Since we're here, he might be down this way. Let's make sure we came down came up this part. So on floor eight, it's the right is the way up. This is boss room, the deal. So at least it's not one big branching thing. I didn't think Luda was going to be this far down. 
really didn't think he'd be this far down. So that was everybody. <laughs> that funky bass riff. <laughs> yeah, right? I do like the bass riff, especially as it first starts off that do 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 do. This is everybody's week. Oh, there's Dogi. Who to Gemma? Oh, that young fellow? Yeah, I. Oh, you motherfucker. No, you bastards! <laughs> no, the whole point. I know it's divided into sections, you bastard. <laughs> okay, I feel like the fucking cat on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, thanks, Dougie, for telling me he's on the 11th floor. Of all the floors for you to hide out on, you're on that bastard of a floor. Anyway, all right. So he was literally on the floor where I'm like, well, we don't need to go back to that area because... God damn it. We would have gone to the right place. We would have gone to the right place. All right, that's okay. It's okay. Back up we go. And now we know we need to go to floor eight. At least the game is nice enough to have NPCs at least give you either hints or tell you where they are. Just get the fuck away. <laughs> oh my God, wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> There's nothing. Katunk. <laughs> I fucking wish. Uh, all right. Uh, that, well, all right. So we got. All right. So we got to go up two floors. Do do do. Up we go. Back up we go. At least we don't have to go any further down. But once we get back to floor 11 and we go up the way we broke the um, pillar, apparently that's the way we need to go. Uh, that's where Luda, for some reason, has decided to hide himself. Yep, all right, so this is floor 10. This is where, so on floor 10, once we get in here, it's gonna branch off. So we need to take the pillar branch instead of the up branch, for lack of a better term. I think this is the way up we need to actually go. The other way. Yep, this is the way we need to actually be. God damn it, Luda. Not hiding over there. Who's it? Actually, I think I did see him up here. That's all right. Oh, you found the volume Gemma. It's been missing for hundreds of years. It was written by my ancestor. Yeah, we figured that part out. The whole Gemma thing gave us a clue. How did you get it? Uh, I killed him. My father has told me of our land's legend. He said that the key to defeating the demons lies in the books of East. There are many mysteries left to unfold, but the books can be your guide. This is a charm that has been handed down from our ancestors of long ago. Take it with you. It will help you break the evil curse of dark fact. Okay. Uh, yeah, when they said the blue amulet, I thought it was the blue necklace that we got. That's all right. A goon hacked on my leg. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. All right. I can't give you too much shit, Ludai. Now I understand why you had to hit out here. I don't think I'll be able to walk for a while. Please go ahead and don't worry about me. Yeah, we would have saved ourselves fucking 15 iterations to this fucking music. <laughs> Granted, it's good, but uh, it does get repetitive. I really wish they had actually broken up. Like this would have been the good, a good music for the first half of Darm Tower, and then a different track, a different track for the upper floors. I, I kind of wish they had done that. Although floor 24 has a fantastic theme. And it's only used on one floor. Well, it's the level... No, it might be level 24 and level 25. But, um... But it's fantastic. That was the voice of Stan Lee's disowned half-brother, Dan Lee. 
up we go. Alright. But I mean, at this point we shouldn't we shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, at this point, Seraph remembers the tower now. And we should just be able to go up pretty scale this thing pretty fast. I know, famous last words here, but. Pretty cool for a game in 1990 having some voiced parts. Obviously, a lot of it's text, but I thought it was pretty cool that a lot of it was uh, was voiced anyway. Pretty sure that's the way. And if not, we'll backtrack. Pretty sure this is the way up. And now we could be much more certain. That, I'll give you four to one odds. Thanks, thanks, Dark Star. <laughs> uh, at the very le least, now I feel much more comfortable that we really didn't miss anything. Yep, this was the correct one. Good, good. at least a little more straightforward. A little more straightforward. Uh, I don't think that was the right one. I think it was the right one that was the correct one. Yeah, fuck that. I keep getting this one confused with the um, mirror maze on the 21st floor. I actually think I know the, t the mirror maze on the 21st floor better than this one at this point. Wait, no, that's not the right one. This is the right one. That's the right one to get to the treasure chest. We don't want to get to the treasure chest. Seraph, remember. Fuck. Is it this one? Am I losing my goddamn mind? I'm losing my mind. I don't... Like, we made it through this one much easier the first time. I'm obviously completely forgetting the way to go to this one. Right? That's the right way. There's Rasta. If you say anything, please hurry, Swordsman. Okay, yeah. You don't do anything stupid now. That's the way. That's the way up if you don't have the brooch. Am I losing my mind? Right, that one just goes. Yeah. Right. Okay. hate these mirror mazes. Even the easy one on this floor is kind of a pain in the ass. Pretty sure that's the one we want. This leads us down here. There's only... There's literally only that mirror. No other way. Okay. Not crazy on that. Good. Damn it. Damn. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Well, because I'm confusing it with the mirror maze on the 21st floor. This is the one we want. Thought the right one is the one we want. Not the mirror we want. There's that mirror. It's actually the only mirror possibility, right? Yeah, that's the only mirror. Okay, fine. We've gone off all the possibilities in the right, right? Unless we go straight to this one. Damn it, that's what I needed to do. Okay. Right.
Thank God I didn't keep doing going in a circle. Yeah, that one, there's only the one at the end that kind of fucks with you. <laughs> you've seen one, you've seen them all, right? They, 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 these mirror mazes, they, they really do. And they, and they, and it's not so much that they look alike, it's the spatial disorientation, because once you're teleported, you're like, okay, well, I remember this, but I don't know where I used to be. <laughs> so it's, it's just so easy to go in circles in those things, especially when... Oh, fuck. Um, that, this is the only floor where, going in, uh, where there's a correct direction to go, because the annex uh, keeps you from going in a complete circle. Deal. At this point, we just go straight up. We don't have to worry about finding the annex again. We just go up. Goodbye. Well, at least we gained another level. So we're going to be a little bit better equipped for Dark Fact. <laughs> the only saving grace of having to go all the way down and all the way back fucking up. God damn, because we met Dogi again on floor seven. We went all the way to floor fucking seven. Floor fucking seven. We were on 22, right? No, we were on 21. I mean, it said 21. We were basically on floor 24, though. It just didn't register as such. But I mean, you could see the steps and the landings. And once, you'll see, once we actually go through that door, there's only really floor 25 that remains after that. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Once we get back to the top, I'm going to take a quick, whoops, nope, uh, a quick break down uh, downstairs to get a soda. Nice little refill. And then we're going to kick Dark Fact's ass. Or so I hope. I'm hoping he doesn't kill me a whole shit ton of times. That would be really nice. Although, believe it or not, I actually think I remember... Well, because it's... A, so, it's a very memorable battle. So, I remember Dark Fact more than a lot of the other bosses in this game. And I think I went the right way here. If not, I'll have to go back down. Because, uh, yeah, a lot of these bosses, it was like, you know, you play it, you die once, and it's like, oh, yeah, now I remember this. And, uh, nope. This, yeah, there's a statue over here in a charger chest. This is, this is the way that a flame sword. Let me just make sure, yep, I was right. Okay, no big deal. Back way we come. But at least we knew that instantly, and we didn't have to go back any further. No, we just go back real quick, and we go down, we just go up the other branch. Not that big a deal. We're, uh, let's see, we're 378 XP away from a level. We might actually level up by the time we get back up there, or at least by the time we get up there, it might actually make a little sense to kill a couple enemies, at least earn a little bit of XP. All right, this is the way back down, yep. This way, on down. not quite as bad with, you know, I feel like Metroid did some of the backtracking in a little bit more of an entertaining fashion. Here, for Darm Tower, this almost feels unnecessary and tedious, because a lot of these enemies are no longer a threat to you. Damn, Tower is fucking maze in and of itself. It's a great dungeon. It's one of my, this is one of my favorite dungeons of gaming history. It really is. Just not a big fan of them making me backtrack all that way. I would have, uh, I would have preferred to just be able to go... I would have been able, I would have just preferred, once we were at the top, to just fight Dark Fact. Heal. And actually, since we've come this far, I think I'll save, because it would suck to make a mistake die and have to scale the tower all over again. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good decision. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to see if Seraph remembers this one any better. Alright. 
Look here. None of that shit. Alright, so, I clearly have a much better memory of the, the floor 20, the floor 21 mirror maze than the floor 11 mirror maze. There isn't a whole lot of backtracking in Metroid, at least not for the essentials. Really? I remember a lot of backtracking, but then again, I never really played the Metroids on Nintendo and Super Nintendo all that much. The Metroids I played a lot of were uh, Metroid Prime for GameCube. <clears throat> Power ring. We'll set the silver equipment. All right. I don't think I have to equip this thing, but let's see. Save. Okay, now we'll save over this one because we don't need this and we'll use save three, save slot three for East two. Uh, this is a good point for Seraph to get a quick soda. We'll be right back and we're gonna finish off East book one in just a minute. Ah, gotcha, that makes sense. Huh, I never realized Metroid 2 was that linear. Maybe I'm just thinking of all the times you played it on the, um, because even before the randomizer, I remember that. But but you are also, I think you are, you're you do try to run 100%. It so I was I was judging a lot of that from your gameplay. I think unless I'm totally misremembering stuff. Anyway, give me one second, guys. I shall be right back. have returned. <clears throat> Try it again, this time without the frog in my throat. Ugh, okay. Yeah, my throat's getting a little sore. So in a way, caffeine's probably not the best thing for it, but fuck it. Whoops. Alright, yeah, we're gonna keep up with that. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to level 25, the very top of Dorm Tower. And there's Dark Fact right there. He is a fucking beast. Oh, he's gonna kick our ass a decent amount. So once I step on that, we're gonna get teleported in and it begins. So the interesting thing about the tower here, there's no roof. We're just in the open air up here. Not that it really matters, because we're at full health here, but um, I really do like this, uh, this theme also. But here we are, we're at the very end of East Book 1 here. I'll do one quick save here, so that, uh, let's fuck it. Farm Tower, level 25. So yeah. He's gonna talk some smack. I actually really like how he talks fucking smack. And, uh... It's probably gonna take us a couple of tries. But I don't think it's gonna be anything too ridiculous. In any event, without any further ado here, the end of East 1. I know you are searching for the secrets contained within the books, and you have done well so far. I am impressed by your daring ambition, but of course you are still defenseless against my superior powers. The name Dark. That will be the scourge of all men to come. <laughs> oh, you are brave, but you are also a fool. You have no chance without the protection of the silver equipment. Knave, prepare to die. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. 
try not hitting every single one, Seraph. Fuck. Ah, missed him. Damn it. Got him. I actually did remember him. <laughs> Figures of all the of all the tough fights in this game, we beat Dark Fact in one try. But again, it's such a memorable theme song, it's a memorable fight, so even 30 years later I I remembered it. So alright, we find the last volume in Dark Fact's cloak. That all gets the volume fact. At this point, can't do anything else. We're just stuck on this platform in the at the very top of Darm Tower. So once we read volume fact, the uh, East Book 1 ends. So at this point, let's go through all of them. This That way you get the whole books of East. The prosperity of East began with the creation of a magical metal known as Claria. And I know we kind of read this earlier, but this makes sense just to go through them all linearly. On the highest mountain stands Solomon's Shrine, which symbolized the great wealth of East. The land of East was ruled by two goddesses and six priests. The goddesses were the embodiment of our health and happiness. It's gonna go super fast. Obviously, these are these do not take long. <laughs> One day, a wave of terrible violence came upon East, and our lives were ripped apart. That's a whole book. <laughs> Man, Adol's mastered speed reading. The carnage came quickly, and with no warning, lava flowed through the land, and soon all was ablaze. You successfully required all the volumes of. Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> Encyclopedia East, right? Uh, we believe the creation of Claria was the source of this violent act of terror. Therefore, we buried the Claria deep beneath the ground. If the Claria is ever unearthed, the same tragedy will strike East again. It's now fun. Now we're on to the volumes we picked up in Darm Tower. The evil powers had shown their force. A dark and eerie stranger had been following us and began closing in. All of the village people were terrified and could offer no defense against this vile devil and the creatures who stalked the neighborhoods. Finally, we escaped into Solomon's Shrine after being chased by six huge hatchetmen. Soon after this, the goddesses disappeared and have been long lost ever since. The next day, the attack suddenly stopped. We haven't seen the dark stranger since. Volume Gemma. A special amulet has been handed down for generations within the Gemma family, and it would have been nice if he had given it to us when we were all the way down on the fucking... <laughs> this deep blue amulet has the unique power to break the wicked curse of the evil intruders. I really thought it was the blue, this blue necklace, but whatever. And here we go. <laughs> the village people were too busy at the YMCA. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've reached the stage where Seraph's starting to lose his mind. And now, without any further ado, we conclude East Book One. Although the attacks had stopped, we could still feel the terrifying presence of evil. We decided it would be safer to lift our land out of harm's reach. We hope to return one day to our former tranquility. We have placed the collective powers of East into these six books in the hope that a brave warrior will somehow rid our land of these demons. Only then can we rest in peace. Now, I never played the standalone East one game that came out for the Master System. This ship blew me away as a kid. All communication to Darm Tower has been cut off. 
What should we do to stop this rogue? His bravery presents an interesting challenge. Let's see how far this Adol character can go before we crush him. Very well then, sir. A little teaser for East 2 here. I'll just let this play here. So one of the things I find hilarious about the E-Series... Sorry. <laughs> oh god, I forgot this. Are you alright? Me? I am Lilia from Rance Village. I felt a cold shiver down my spine, and I felt compelled to come in this direction. Then I found you lying here on the ground, your body surrounded by a pure white light. This is the land of Ys. There are many goons patrolling this area. Quickly, let's go to my village before they find us. So this is a good time for my little spiel on, I do find it funny that uh, this East Book 2 is the only game of the East series. Now mind you, at this point, there are 10 of the things that actually takes place in East. <laughs> There's Lilia here. I've had a slight fever these past few days, but I don't want to tell my mom because I know a lonely warrior. Yeah, that's, that's not a good plan here. Uh, this small shrine is connected to the ruins. I'm here on ev on an evil alert. Clearly not great things about this. So equipment, of course, East Book 2. We have no equipment. We have the we have the six books of East, and that's it. Nothing else got transported up with us. Literally nothing. We had all that badass shit. And nothing to say nothing to show for it. No. So we'll save here, and it even sh just shows you East 1. But uh, um Wait, which one is which here? Fuck. Uh, yeah, no, that one's fine. Spence Village. I may as well talk to some villagers here. There is an ancient sleep laid within the ruins. Well, that sounds important. I should probably get that. 
I'm Rudel. I'm an apprentice at Guido's store. We lack the raw materials to make new armor. Do you know where we can find some iron ore? Oh, that sounds like a side quest. In Jira's house. There have been some eerie noises coming from the basement lady lately. I know you're a great swordsman. Will you go down there and see what it is? Sure, let's go take a look down there. She's the kind of person who would hide a zombie fight, right? I don't see anything, but this music sounds like dungeon music. And spoiler alert, it's the fucking mine music, because of course they tossed in a fucking mine dungeon. It's the first Dungeon of East 2, and it's a fucking mine. I hate the mine so much. <laughs> Uh, there are some small oval-shaped stones embedded in the walls of the abandoned mine. I hear that under some unusual circumstances, they will actually glow. You can find rota tree nuts in the ruins. They have a refreshing flavor. Try them. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, there's Lily again. Uh, you'll off we often hear strange screams. The village people are all on edge. Each day seems to prolong our anguish. So, wow. Uh, yeah. Sounds like life really sucks for you guys. There's a huge hollow in the basement of the ruins. You can't go in there without permission from the village senior. Well, it sounds like it's time for me to get permission. My uh, all right, so here's the senior's house. My husband went out on a while ago. I think he's off in the ruins. All right, so I gotta go find him in the ruins. Great. And of course, I have zero gold. I have literally zero fucking gold. All right, Bernice's house. She must be at all. My daughter Lilia has told me much about you. Lily, Lilia has been looking very healthy, but in fact, she's very sick. Okay, so her mom, her mom, her mom knows anyway. We've been told she's only three months to live. Right, I forgot about that. I think Dr. Flair might have a cure, but we've been able to un unable to find him. If you happen to see him, would you please give him this letter? There are a lot of goons around here, and it's very dangerous to go out without the proper weapons. Take this money and buy yourself the best sword you can. Ah, thank you. It's the letter. Wow, that letter needs a little more JPEG. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. You'll hear. Well, that being the case, we don't need to buy... We don't need to buy anything here. The life drop is pretty cool. I think what the life drop does is... Um, if you die, it uh, restores you. Yep, buy that. Armor. Okay, well, at least I can get armor and a sword. I can't afford the shield. I'm in the market for buying iron ore. If you have any connections, I pay top dollar. Okay, so if we find iron ore, we can get that. All right, well, this will have to do. That's right, now it kind of shows this as, it, as it's equipped. I don't think East One did that. Although, I'd have to go back there and remember. I'd have to go back there to check. And I don't think it did. Alright, so into the ruins we go. But really, this game feels like a complete... East Book 1 and 2 really does feel like a complete game. So I'm, I'm not quite sure how the... How the Master System one really felt when it ended at the end of Darn Tower. I think I'd be like, really? That's how this fucking game ends? That's bullshit! Uh, oh, can't get over there. Okay. I'll get over there soon. Well, technically this is the first dungeon. The ruins. The ruins aren't bad. See anything over there? up here. Oh, yeah, you're not gonna let me in there. I am Astal from Rant Village. Not long ago, the village senior came and asked me if I had seen a party of two girls. I said that I hadn't, so we went back to the village. Alright, so the village senior's back in the village now, but I think there's still something to be had in here in the ruins. Oh, there's nothing to be had in there. I feel like there's something to be had in here. I think. Granted, my suspicion is that I'm going to get my ass kicked here, but... Oh wow, they just... Herb stomped me. Sweet. That's, that's cool. 
Fair enough. I'll just let my health bar regenerate and I will move on. I don't actually remember how to move those guys. Maybe I have to hit them with something. I'm not really sure now. But you'll notice we have something a little different now. We have an MP gauge. My name is Rex. I have a favor to ask. I'd like you to bring me the, con the contents of the treasure box that the goons are watching over. Well, I would have if I could have. There's a statue. We recognize those from Asteria. I feel like there is a way to get that. Although I think what I have to do now is go talk to the village senior here. I don't think there's anything else I could really do. I feel like something I can do here. Maybe not. Go back up. Go back up to Rance Village here. Go talk to the village senior and see if uh, they give me anything. Now that he's back. I hear you've been looking for me. Yes, I have. Sorry you went through so much trouble. I really didn't go through all that much trouble. You've done well to collect all the ancient books of East. When the priests disappeared, they left these volumes behind. Their souls are etched within the bindings of these books. Well, that sounds awesome. In the basement of the ruins, you'll find a place called the Divine Area. Within this area stand six stone statues dedicated to the preservation of our heritage. Please return these books to the memories of our great ancestral priests. Astol can help you find the way. So now Astol will actually let us in. So maybe what I need to do is use magic on those uh, two goons that are guarding it. Because, uh, yeah, we have an MP meter in this game. So unlike the rings of East 1, I guess Falcom realized those were a little, uh, a little OP to always use. And so for this game, uh, East 2, you, uh, you actually have a magic meter. Kill that guy, no problem. Cool. Is there anything over here? No, nothing we had over here. Let's see, is there anything over here? It'd be nice if there's something over here. I feel like there should be. Really? Nothing over here? I thought there would be. Alright, well, at least we killed a couple things and we got some gold. I think once I get 100 gold, I can afford a shield. I think. I don't really remember. And I should have checked. Didn't actually check. That wasn't too smart on my part. Should have checked. Totally forgot to check. At least we got 30 gold now. I mean, we're, proper, we're appropriately leveled. Oops. Oh boy. <laughs> we sure took a hit there. God damn. Fortunately, this monster is too dumb to go around the pillar. Uh, oops. Okay. Got it. It'd be nice to get some ore. Because if we found ore, we would, uh... To be able to just afford that, um... Ow, damn it. So East 2, I don't remember nearly as well as East 1. Well, because I played East 1 a lot more. There were a bunch of times where I would play, I would forget where I was, and I would just choose to start over. And so I was much more... I played East 1 a lot more than this game. But I have beaten it, so... You know, I, I know where some of the important... I know where so many important hits are. Yep, here we go. Get this. Ah, oh, we got this ancient slate. One NPC in town said that was important. I don't know why, but we'll find out. Hey, give me your XP and money. <laughs> uh, there's any other way up there, right? The way over there. 
Not that way, though. The way is the way over there. Let's see, I think this is the way. Yep, perfect. Okay, there's a rota tree nut. I don't remember what the rota tree nut does. Actually, I think I remember what the rota tree nut does. I think the rota tree nut uh, maximizes your MP, but I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any MP, so it doesn't really do anything for me at the moment. There are a couple places in the game for rota tree nuts. All right, so we got a rota tree nut. We got the ancient slate. I don't remember why the ancient slate was so important. We could just go back out there and see. Still don't think I can hit these guys. Yeah, I can't. All right. Oh, right. That's right. Okay. I forgot. Okay, we just heal. Okay. It's going to take a little while, but he doesn't regenerate like I do. And so it's just going to be a little tedious here, but we'll be able to kill this guy and then we'll do the same with the other one. And then we'll figure out what's in this treasure chest. I Seraph, don't actually remember what's in the treasure chest. I totally forgot. Now, if we eventually got magic, that would probably be an easier way to kill these things, but this certainly works. They just takes a little patience. If memory serves me correctly, once I kill one, the other one wakes right the fuck up and tries to take me out. Pretty sure. Let's see. Let's see how well I remember this. Tedium. Thank goodness we recover HP out outside. Once we actually descend into the mine and in most of the dungeons, this isn't going to be the case. In fact, for the most part, these two, you're not going to have a whole lot of healing options inside dungeons. I want to say that there's a heal magic, but it's essentially it uses MP. All right which is obviously a finite resource. My god, we do so little damage to these things. I mean, who knows? Maybe there's a different way you're supposed to do this, and I'm just completely, uh... And I'm just completely, uh... doing it the wrong way early. But whatever. Hey, if you're patient, whatever. Unless I'm totally forgetting an easier way to do this. I think this is the way to... I think this is the way in. be nice if uh, these things were worth some XP. What's the next XP? 120... Okay. 120-800. Yeah, now the, the meter on East 2 is a little different, so it doesn't tell you right on the main screen what your XP is or um, what your XP goal is. It just tells you how much XP you have. Oh. At this point, we're already committed to this. <laughs> Part of me is like, man, I probably should have just done this later, but we've come this far. <laughs> Fucker does take a chunk out of me, and he takes next to no damage in return. When I upload this to YouTube, it'll be interesting to see how long this actually took. You know, because playing games as a kid, 
like, I would do shit like this. It's like, ah, oh, and I figured this out. And then afterwards, you're like, I wonder how much time I spent on it. Now I will actually know how much time I spent on this. Oh, come on, really? You're dead. Whatever. Gimme, give gimme. Give Wand of the Holy World? I wonder what the hell that means. Let's regain all this HP. Talk to this dude and see what's going on here. Stick and poke, right? <laughs> hey, it worked! Maybe he lets me keep it. I don't even remember what it does. Oh! That's the Wand of Holy World! You've managed to wrestle it from the goons, I see. Yes, I did. It was tedious as fuck. That statue back there is the goddess's wand. Legend dictates that only the six priests and the goddesses can use its magic. The wand is a symbol for direction. When you touch the goddess's statue with it, you'll be granted the use of the magical powers. Oh, okay, so that was probably important. All right. Oh, look at that. When you touch the wand of the statue, you feel a strange sensation throughout your body. Ah, and now we have MP. I don't have... I don't have magic items yet, but... All right, so that was definitely and obviously worth doing. <laughs> that was very, very fucking worth doing. There are six types of magic hidden in the land of East. Yep. Fire magic in particular is useful against bosses. Oh, these fuckers are back. I don't think the Wand of Holy World actually does anything on itself. The goddess of statue holds the same wand. Okay, yeah, there's literally nothing else this thing's gonna do to me. Um, let's see. The message engraved on the slate has been worn thin through the ages. But this is what it seems to say. There are six powerful books written by the priests of East. Forces contained within the books will direct brave man to this land. Well, now it's me. There is a locked door in the basement, and all six books are returned to the priests. The way to Solomon's shrine will appear. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. So, at this point, I don't think anything else to do. Talk to this dude. All right, I'll open the door for you. Oh, uh, yep. Here we are in the divine area. Kill a few of these things. Ah, uh, and here's a door. Door is locked with an immense force. Yeah, I think that's the door that actually will open once I return all the six books to where they where they're supposed to go. I don't necessarily want to go to until I buy a shield at least. So I've got some money here. These guys are actually giving me some pretty decent money. Come on. Not what I wanted. I just want to get to 300 gold and see what that gets me. I don't really need the XP. Well, now I'm leaving because I got wounded. <laughs> yeah, once you get to about half damage, it's like, yeah, all right, let's, let's quit while you're ahead. The books are found in human flesh and ink in the yeah, wrong franchise. <laughs> yeah, in this case, the, uh, the, 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 um, yeah, it's their souls that, uh, that empower them. Bastard. Man, I was just about to redo a whole bunch of shit. Although, no, I don't think so. I think I saved right before I went in. But still, I'd rather have my level. That was a little reckless on Seraph's part. That would've been a super lame way to die. Come on, come on. Save, yep, save the ruins. Good deal. Now, let's see if I remember the way out. Nope. I don't actually want to be this way. This is the way I want to go, right. A lot of walking around, man. 
Now we're back to the village. Let's see if anybody gives me any different bullshit now that I've been down there. I'm here on evil alert. I think this was the dude that said something about the slate. Now, although it is weird that you guys just hear random screams, like, holy shit. Let me warn you, greatest dangers lurk in the hollow. Oh, okay. Yeah. We often hear the ringing of a bell when the goons gather for a meeting. Yeah, that's, uh, that is, <laughs> that's what we call foretelling. That fucking bell. <laughs> oh, man. Where's the guy that talks about the slate? Talked about. Come on, man. Already told me about that. Alright. I'm not gonna find that person, obviously. Uh, there's no reason to go back down there. Once, once I get a certain item going down into that basement is some fantastic... Yeah, there's, there's a, <laughs> there is a bell that uh, factors prominently into the plot of East 2. <laughs> Small shield? Oh, yeah, I definitely can't afford that. Let's see. Armor. Well, I have it. Sword. Yeah, a thousand. Yeah, I can't afford any of that shit. Okay, but at least now I've got a shield. Okay. Well, here we begin, and then once we start getting magic, we'll have magic in here. We can set that. And then we, uh... We use the two button for, uh, or at least what I affectionately call the two button. I guess in my case, I'm gonna call it the A button. No, I didn't want to talk to you. I accidentally bumped into you. I'm sorry. Stop talking to me. <laughs> All right. So I think we've accomplished everything we can in the uh, in the village. It's time to go into the fucking mine. Oh goodness gracious. No, you're over there. I don't think we need to level up any. Let's just try going into the divine area. See if we can go through that door. But yeah, the poor villagers, they have no idea how important that bell actually is. So, yeah, we hear that every so often. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, kind of a big deal, guys. Yeah, I already don't gain any fucking health. I don't... Actually, I don't know if this door's gonna open. Yeah, this door doesn't open. Oh, nope, the door does open. Perfect. Okay. At all stares in amazement as the book he was holding, holding suddenly floats from his hands and dissolves into the statue. He then hears a steady low voice speak to him. You are a brave soul. I am glad you've come. These are the words of Hadal. Doom is about to strike the land of peace once again. Evil spirits in the sky have long been dormant, but recently they were awakened by their master on the ground. Dark fact. Dark fact. Fucking up everything. Now they have their orders, and they are terrorizing our people. The evil core is in Solomon's shrine. When you return the six books to us, the way to the shrine will open. Be careful in your fight against the bigger demons. You can't destroy them without the magic of fire. Well, so that's one book down. And this, this bullshit. In some ways, this mine isn't as bad as the one in East One, and in other ways, it's very, very much worse. much worse. It's so easy also to get lost in this one, but at the same time, at least you can see. Oh god. Okay. That's important. 
You think you see the passage, but it's blocked by a wall of rubble and you're unable to get through. All right, I know what's going on there. At least I remember what's going on there, but I don't have the item required for that yet. That's here. Okay, near this start, and it's all the way on the right of this bullshit. Not that I'm gonna remember that, most likely. Probably going to forget where that is. In the beginning. I'm already starting. There are just so many screens. So, there are so many tunnels. Fuck, I just got hit. Pretty bad. Fuck. First dead end. But each time you return a book, you get your health back. So that is helpful. Got it. All right. All right, sir, you got this. first. <laughs> Shoosh. These guys. It's fucking tight confines. Can't go at the angle that I really need to. Feel like I should probably- oh thank god. All right, we got the magic of fire. That is a huge deal. Okay. Activated the slate instead of the magic of fire. Oh, I gotta switch that so I don't accidentally do that again. <laughs> Damn it, Seraph, you're such a dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> when I'm low on, uh, when I'm low on health, I could use the, the, the wand of fire. Yeah, I, th I think we gotta save it here. I mean, granted, you only have so much MP, but if I get really low, I can start spamming the wand of fire to try to get the hell out of here. Although I think at this point... I need to play it safe and use this wand. I think at this point, it's time to leave. Whoops, whoops. Yeah, normally I wouldn't be resorting to the fire wand so quickly. Shit, I'm already starting to get lost. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, right, right. Uh, I think this way leads to the... You know what? This... No. Uh, right? Right. Because that way leads to the... Okay. No. Oh, God. I'm already starting to get lost again. Maybe this is the way up? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Hit points. It's fine. Oh, I'm in the wrong area. But you know what? This is fine. This works. Yes, give me a give me HP. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Stale's amazement as the book he was holding suddenly floats from his hands and dissolves into the statue. He then hears a steady low voice speak to him.
these get a little repetitive. But here's the words of Toba. Yep, we already know they each have a control over a magic wand. To reach the evil core, it will be helpful if you have these magical wands. Fair enough. Thank you for the HP restore. I needed it. Oh, and the MP restore too. Sweet. Okay. I am totally lost already though. <laughs> but you can see how easy it is to get lost in this whole fucking bullshit. I might be gaining a level pretty soon. Okay. So down we go. I actually thought I was leaving when all I was doing was going to a different area. But alright, we've done this now. <laughs> you don't have the magic sticks. Well then the prophecy is a bust. <laughs> that sounds like you're quoting something and I'm not right I'm not recognizing the uh I'm actually not recognizing it. Unless you're just like, unless you're talking about like if the six priests are like, uh, you don't have the wands, dude. <laughs> what what are you doing, bro? <laughs> but we're we're going to get them. Let's see. Okay, I think this is actually the way. Yep, this is the way out. Okay. So we're at the start, but you know what? We're at full health here. Let's go back down. See if I can remember where I was just going here. Oh my god, this thing is such a mess. Okay, so that's the way out. This is a straight line. This is all linear. Okay, we just went up that way and that led to that. So we're good here. Okay, so now we go down this way. Let's try going this way this time. Try going all the way left. All right, let's go up this one and we'll work, we'll work systematically. Eh, prophecies really aren't that cracked up to be. Millennia of mistranslations and misinterpretations. <laughs> right? All right, so we got three books down here. I wish you could skip this dialogue. It's the same exact dialogue every time. The book floats with his hands. All right. And they each say you're a brave soul. They're glad we've come. I mean, I'm glad to be here, right? These are the words of Davy. Long ago, there was a tremendous power which lifted our land into the skies. This power surge was the result of an evil presence being born in this world. The source of this power comes from the special magic of peace. This magic can feed both good and evil causes. However, the evil will never die as long as the magic exists. Sounds like a problem. So we're already down. What, two, three? Yeah, we're already, we're already down three. Cool. Yeah, we're, uh, sure, we'll, you know what, we'll, act, we'll, we'll do the letter, that way, if I accidentally do that shit again, come on, ah. hey Sarah, why don't you try killing the goon, now let's run around it a bunch of times, make sure there's no door up here, but sometimes there is, that I remember, ah, Got me. Well, we'll take the treasure chest. But some, one of these divine area, um, ooh, I don't. It's the Claria ring. I don't remember what it does, but I think it acts as like a power ring. Find out. Wear this ring to move with the quickness of a cat. Eh, whatever. But at least if I accidentally hit that button, we're not uh, sitting there looking at text for like two days. I do remember at least one of these divine areas has, um, interesting sound. Um, damn it. One of those divine areas has two, uh, two different doors on it. And it's really easy to miss. Okay, I think I came in through this door. Almost positive. Left. Well, this is new. God, it's 
No, this is the way we came in, right. Let's go up this way. In fact, I think this one might be it. This, and of course each one's got a dot, a different dot. But nowhere in East will I be more lost than the actual Solomon Shrine. You thought Darm Tower was bad? Solomon Shrine is enormous. Uh, I want to say half of East 2 takes place in Solomon Shrine. That That is a definite mega dungeon. Uh, these are the words of Mesa. 700 years ago, East was lifted into the sky in order to escape the clutches of evil. Solomon Shrine stands at the summit of East. To reach the shrine, you must climb the ice-covered walls and cross the land of lava. Now, funny part, when I actually went in that, there's an ice area. Um, I did not yet have my hatred of ice levels, and I don't remember the ice region of East being all that bad. In fact, if I had a hazard a guess, I'd say it's probably one of the few ice things, ice zones, whatever, in any kind of game that I actually don't mind. That's the way down. Definitely need to go this way. All right, let's go up. Oh, you little bastard. Yep, there it is. I knew it. All right. So we've already got five down here. Well, you said it was... Yeah, it was Valus. It was Valus 3. It was the uh, Spirit World Ice Caves. Oh, my God. One day we are going to play Valus 3, and you will see why. Everybody watching will be like, Oh, yeah, I see that. I can see why Seraph hates all ice levels from this bullshit. <laughs> the level sucks so badly. These are the words of Gemma. I'm sorry about my descendant. He is a tool. <laughs> he should have given you the amulet on level 7. <laughs> sorry. I still can't get over that fucking shit. Uh, the evil in our lives is a direct reflection of our goodness. The creatures who hound us have, uh, have a sad fate. They live their lives in the sinister shadow of darkness. I often wonder what they would have to say to the forces of light. So each of these uh, priests, as they speak to you, albeit through, uh, you know, the, the statue, uh, do give a kind of a clue as to, uh, okay, there's not anything in order. Uh, of, as to what the magic will actually be. Back with this way we go. So part of what's sinister about the design of this is by the time you go through the divine areas, at least for me, I'm like, all right, now, where was I? <laughs> and I frequently will start to forget where I was, uh, and how the whole mine complex works. All right, I know we can go down. Not here, though. But there are a couple of areas where you can go down. Uh, shit, I can't go through this way yet. Can go through this way. All right, well. I guess let's try and fight a boss. Hey, sir, I'm trying to... God. Damn it. What if I do this? Damn. Can't attack him from the... Yeah, he kind of drifts over. Yeah, you gotta just... You gotta dodge it. I think I can do it. I might be too low level for this, though. Um, and I might have to finish off the book part of it. But you know what? Let's try it anyway. Oh. Okay. Damn. Damn it. Oh my god, I ran right into it. 
keep running into them. Too long, he gets you. Damn it. Go. Okay. Damn it, Adol. Stop going up so fast. Oh, shit. Come on, buddy. You got this. Got him. <laughs> Yeah, if you try to actually attack them with your sword, it doesn't do anything. Oh, now it registers me trying to go into my inventory. Whatever. Uh, well, let's save since we defeated the fucking boss. <laughs> oh, man. I think the last book, though, is out this way somewhere. I think we're gonna need it. Yeah, this, this part stinks. see some of them some of the mine at any given time they actually did a really clever way where you can only see some of it depending on the angle that you're looking at it and I just don't really have much of a memory of this shit well that's important there's a beautiful flower on the bank of the pond Adol gets the Cressetta flower. Well, it's good that we got that. That, I'm pretty sure, is an ingredient that we're going to need to cure Lilia. So, it's good that we got that, but, um, not that Adol even knows about the Cressetta flower. <laughs> we're doing things in a, in an interesting, uh, order. Flip to the other side, and that was all she wrote on that. Okay. Oh. Fine. That's probably important. Man. At this point, I'm so I'm in so deep. I don't really remember. No. Bastards. Wow, I just took a lot of damage from that. Fuck. That was bad. Damn it. Kill me. What the hell is in here? Okay. I don't really remember what the magic of light really does. Let's try a save here in case I completely screw myself. Or this ring to move with the Alright. Well, that really didn't do anything. Shit. I think I may need to just try to get the hell out of here. I'm trying to find the last frickin' divine area. If we could do that, I'm I'm gonna be golden, cause it'll 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 heal me. <laughs> uh, I went up that way, right? That's the treasure chest area. Yep, good. Okay, let's go back this way. Try not to die. Oh God. Nope. 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 Leave me alone. No. No. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. No. Shit. 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 There it is. 
Yeah, this part's gonna be tough getting out of. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's such bullshit! It literally kills you instantly. Wow. Yeah, it's an instant kill. Thankfully, I wasn't... At least I didn't save it over here, so I didn't have to do East 1 again. Oh my god, can you imagine how much that would have sucked? Oh, all right, but at least... At least that doesn't completely screw us. Wow. Thank goodness I had the presence of my... God damn it, that fucker hit me already. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> uh, it would have been nice to have had the Corsetta flower, but oh well. Um, at least we know the Corsetta flower is down here. Wish I knew where the last divine area thing was. Man, I hate this mine so much. That really sucks that they did that to the point where that was an instant kill. That really stinks. That monster was not there when I saved, so I guess it's a spawn point. Just really shitty luck. All the more validation that I did a separate save. Jeez, man. All right, so I think this actually is the way. No. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Come on. Open it. Okay, we got the magical light again. Okay. So we're basically right back to where we were. Not messing around. All right. All right. I'm really not even sure what I'm doing. That's what led me that way. I don't think there's anything else that way. Yes. So lost. <laughs> I am so lost. Yeah, it spawned right on top of where I was loading. Yeah, it spawned me right on top of the thing. It sucked. That was just really, really shitty luck. All right, so now let's try and get the hell out of here. Try and get out of here. See if I can figure out how I got here. See if we can get out. I'm not really sure how we got here. Let's try and get out. Right, I don't think anything was over here. Let's save here. Let's see if we can figure out how to get the hell out of here. All right, right, that's collapsed kind of area. That brings us back over here. I mean, we're ultimately going to have to come back in here. But now we have the evil bell and we could do something in Rance Village. Just sucks because I know there is a... Uh, I know. There is a very... There's one more Book of East to be had out in this area. I don't know if we missed it or if it's past the boss. You know? Oh, maybe this is the way up. Let's try this. Nope. Nope. Okay, this is... Yeah, I think this is... Alright. Yeah, we're back here. Oh! Jeez, man. Uh... 
dead end. Uh, isn't this the way? I think this is the way back up. Now, this is just one of the divine areas. I don't think that was the right way either. Oh my god, I'm now hopefully hopelessly lost. But as long as we stay alive and wander around enough, I'll get back to something important. Nope, this is where we came up. Seraph. And I think when I was a kid, I remember trying to map this out and just giving up because there are so many different screens. It's, it is a very difficult zone to just map out. Actually, that, that may have been the way out. I don't think it is. I think this is another divine area, but... No. Nope. Not the way out. Is the way out? Is something a little different? I don't think this is all that. I don't think that is either... Let's see. This is either a... This might be the way out. Yes, I think this is the way out. So that was the first one. Out we go. And that might be a good place to, uh... That might act... Yep. Cool. Alright, so, I mean, sort of starting to remember this godforsaken mine. But, uh... God damn. <laughs> god damn. Alright. So... I'm gonna go to a uh, farming point just to show, just to show you one of the ways that makes this work. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna save that. Four will be my uh, <laughs> my experimental save, just so that when I save the game, I don't completely screw myself like that one. I can't believe it just spawned me right on top of it and killed me instantly. There was nothing to do. It didn't matter if I was moving or anything. Uh, that was just instant death. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Oh my god, can you imagine if we had to do East, if we had to finish East 1 again? Just to get back to that point? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, so yes, we're gonna go down in here. Now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So this is one of my favorite farming points in the game. You ring the bell, and you sense a wave of evil approaching. <laughs> this is like one of the best... Of course, you know, assuming it doesn't kill me. <laughs> right. Let's try that again, this time without dying. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, the problem is if you get whacked too bad. And I might be doing this a little too early, too, but... Let's do this a little more safer. A Get out of there. <laughs> right, and then this is the other, uh, I think this is where the sixth book is. Right. Right, right, okay. So this was actually, I'm glad I did this. Perfect, there's the last one. Perfect. And that opens up the way to Solomon Shrine. 
and we can go through there. There's still something else we need to do in the mine, um, so that's gonna not be fun. Um, we do have to find the doctor. We have to give him the letter. Uh, and I'm kind of surprised we didn't actually bump into the doctor anywhere down there. But that's why the Cursetta flower is important. The doctor makes you get the Cursetta flower. We still have to find either the pickaxe or something to break through that wall. I, I remember bits and pieces of that, but in any event. Oh, right. We have text. <laughs> These are the words of fact. You must reach Solomon Shrine and terminate the evil core no matter what adversity confronts you. If East is ever controlled by such dark forces, all goodwill will perish. There is metal with a magical power called Claria. The evil core can only be destroyed by a sword made of Claria. Our last hope for peace lies with that sword and a warrior brave enough to use it. The goddesses ask me to give you this. Please read it carefully. Ah, and Adol gets the Scroll of Guidance. And if I remember correctly, this Scroll of Guidance says different things depending on the part of the game. Priest Hadol's magic of return exists somewhere in this area. Dr. Flair is the key to finding it, right? And the magic of return is essentially a warp wand. When you obtain the magic and come back here, the way to Solomon's shrine will appear. Ah, uh, so the door won't actually open until we find Dr. Flair. I was like, I don't remember why that's important. Well, apparently that's why it's important. <laughs> oh, I love just going through this area and just getting mad amounts of XP. Yeah, except they, they kill you so fast. <laughs> but anyway, I may try to I may try to uh, mess with that uh, off stream and let, just just uh, farm for XP a little bit. In the meantime, let's uh, we did save it, so we're we're good there. Let's see who's on. Maybe uh, maybe somebody's on for some late night shenanigans here. Let's take a quick look. Um, oh, Maxie's still on. Let's raid Maxie. <laughs> Let's raid him. I'm sure he's playing Overwatch. I didn't actually check to see what he was playing, but it looks like he's playing Overwatch. Let's uh, let's wrap this thing up here. Let's go into our ending stream section here. I want to thank everybody for coming out. While well, I set this up, anyway, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight, uh, spending your Sunday night with me. As always, we had uh, we had ourselves a good time. We beat East One. We got actually pretty decently far into East Two. We found all six of the divine areas um, fairly quickly, believe it or not. Now we just have to figure out where the hell Doctor Flair is. Now maybe Doctor Flair doesn't spawn until we get the sixth ones. Who knows, right? Um, but in any event. Let's, uh, yep, he is playing uh, Overwatch 2. Let's raid Maxi. And uh, as far as that goes, uh, I will probably be playing again, most likely Battletech, on Tuesday night. So anybody who wants to come out for that, I welcome you to do so. I hope everybody has a great week. And for anybody that comes along for the ride on Maxi, I uh, will talk to you in a couple seconds. And if not, have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Uh, this is Seraph signing off. Everybody, ciao.